Everybody, let me show you an interesting scenario I got here today. <clears throat> I have finally figured it out, so I wanted to put this out there for you guys. So here I have a HP laptop. This is a HP 15 CS 3079NR. It originally came in uh, because the fan was bad. So I took it in, replaced the fan, and that was fine. And then afterwards, a customer brought it in that the screen was blacking out just like that it blacks out when you touch it it wakes back up as you can see kind of distorted there on the side it just does all kinds of crazy things all right so I was able to log in <clears throat> it might work for a few seconds or even minutes but then sooner or later again it keeps flickering so it would say something you know you got a bad screen you have a bad flex so been through all that check the flex well first of all since it, it, it um, initially when I had it here with a fan it didn't do it um, it didn't do it at all so that was kind of strange but bottom line is the initial steps here is you're gonna check uh, the LCD flex that's the first part also when a screen does that usually you'll touch it and if the screen is bad you know you by pressing it in a certain spot you should be able to get a you know reaction from it so did all that couldn't get a reaction from the screen by pressing it took a look at the flex the flex look looked good uh, the RAM possibly could be a scenario, so I checked the RAM. I mean, I've gone through a lot of diagnostic on this. So the RAM was checked, flex was checked. The only thing I did not do is I was, you know, the next step was to remove the screen and just test another screen. But shoot, I didn't want to go to that extreme, but I was running out of options. Uh, the other thing I did is said, you know what, maybe it's the operating system. So I put another operating system on. Here I had a Windows 11. When I put this on initially, the problem did initially stop. But once the computer started up, up, updating, because initially when you put another OS, it's just going to go with, especially with the uh, the driver for the for the video, it's going to go with the standard uh, Windows Display Adapter. So with that generic uh, driver, it didn't do it. But I noticed, and I thought it was pretty much done. Then after a while when I thought it was pretty much a wrap started doing it again so I did see a video online where somebody updates the driver and it goes away I don't know if that's a permanent because I did that here updated the driver um, it went away but then sooner or later it, it came back what I think is happened is that there's just a bad basically a bad driver or a problem with a particular driver and it's just creating that problem now why didn't it created in the past maybe the original drivers were fine and then now there's a new one that came out something in Windows changed so I was pretty much I mean just next step was going to be uh, to try another screen but I said you know what let me do a a Google search YouTube search and see what's going on I thought this was so generic that I wasn't going to find anything but I did find the solution so I gotta put uh, Kudos or thumbs up for Apple Pie Tech. So this is happening to him. He's got a video there. It says uh, HP laptop blackout on mouse touch pad movement. Now this one, you know, it goes out no matter what. You know, if you touch the the, the, the pad, it goes out, but <clears throat> it'll go out either way, even without touching it. But when you touch it, it really goes nuts. But, you know, it has problems no matter what. Let me try this because I, I didn't try this. If you do it an external mouse, does it still go out with the external mouse? The mouse does look like it actually does trigger it more than anything. But it had been going out even without doing that. Yeah, so it's not really the touchpad. <clears throat> Can we say it's a mouse movement, maybe? Let's see. 
You might be able to say mouse movement causes it. And then the funny part is when you touch the screen, it wakes back up. It's just crazy. So yeah, it seems like the, a mouse movement, or basically maybe it's just any screen movement. Well, no, because the touch, the touch doesn't cause it. It's just basically any movement there. See, it's not really the touchpad. It's just a new mouse movement. Yeah. So what I mean, I did take it out, took the batter, uh, you know, took the battery out. Sometimes you could have a power, power problem creating creating it. Bottom line. I don't know what happened there. Bottom line, and I had noticed it, <clears throat> but Apple Pie Tech did notice it, that it only happens when the computer starts from scratch. So I'll show you. If we restart the computer, on a restart, it does not create the problem. Only on a fresh start so once you notice that which I didn't really notice it and that's probably why it was here so long when I worked with it um, with the fan and I spent a lot of time with the fan checking temperatures and all that kind of stuff and it, it never did it but then again when it's here I probably gave it a restart and I was always using it upon a restart and never noticed it because the customer actually when the customer came to pick it up it did it right up front on the pickup which would explain that they had been shut down customer comes to pick it up screen is is failing then obviously your screen was failing uh, it, you know, the screen now this is my high hindsight 2020 the screen was failing I did it I gave it a restart and it stopped so we're saying, well, it was just a glitch. Customer took the computer. But, of course, as soon as they shut it down and restarted it, back <laughs> to the problem. So, so crazy. So you can see now we just gave it a restart problem solved. So you could just tell a customer, just keep restarting it all the time. Don't shut it down. No. But once you, when you have a, pr a problem like this, you have to think, what could possibly cause that? And then we go to uh, Fast Start, which has had all kinds of, you know, many situations. Actually, my best video is, that I have on the channel is related to sh turning off uh, Fast Boot. And I didn't figure this out myself. I got to give credit to Apple high tech <laughs> pretty good so in order to resolve it what happens with that fast boot or the fast start is the computer kind of goes into the sleep mode so it could just wake up faster and apparently in going to the sleep and waking up it's waking up but something's going on with that driver when it wakes up you know so you eliminate that fast start you know that way if you shut it down and it starts it does a normal startup pulls the drivers does whatever the heck it needs to do whether it be the 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 trackpad driver or the screen driver maybe it is a trackpad driver who knows whether it's a trackpad driver or the screen driver whichever driver it is whichever whatever problem it's having that it's waking up and being like oh what's going on <laughs> you know kind of lost you get rid of it by turning off the fast start so let's let's go to that see if I can remember where that is it's going to be under power options <clears throat> Uh, so just type power. Uh, you can go to you know, choose a power plan or change power plan. So yeah, we're under power options. You want to go over here to the side. This is Windows 11, which I think is a little different than 10. But basically, find your way around power options. And in this case, I'm going to go here. Uh, choose what the power button does. The side menu. You want to get this menu here, which is power options, system settings. So if you see here in gray, see if I can you know, hopefully you can see that. But here grayed out, you see a check mark on turn on fast startup. So you know this computer has a solid state drive and all that, so you don't really need that fast startup 
uh, anymore. So we're going to turn that off. Now it's gray. You can't turn it off. You got to come up here and say change settings that are currently unavailable. Click that. And that's so strange. I don't know why, why they have that. That's just weird. So you got to click on that to open this up and then turn on, I mean, turn off fast startup. Save those changes. So now we're going to shut it down. And you saw the screen has not flickered. No more. And that's because we did a restart. But now we're going to do a shutdown. Let it shut down. Let all your lights turn off. Remember, your, when you shut down your computer <clears throat> until your lights go out, it's not really... It's not really shut down. Uh, Windows, a lot of times, is going to turn off the screen first. And I think they do it so it kind of looks like, wow, look how fast it turned, it, it shut down. No, that's how fast the screen turned off. You know, if you have a solid state, no big deal. But if you've got a computer with a regular hard drive and you're relying on the screen, once the screen turns off, that they shut down, you're closing the lid, you're packing it in your bag, that hard drive is still spinning. You're gonna have problems. So now we did the shutdown and startup, and no more flickering. So keep that in mind. You know, in this in, in this case, this resolved that screen flickering with the trackpad issue. The other video I did was that you do a shutdown and this light never turns off. It kind of just never really shuts down. It stays spinning. You can't really shut down the computer. And, you know, that fast startup has, you know, more than those two problems. So think about that when you have these really weird scenarios uh, that really don't make sense. Uh, try that as an option. I got to put that back to the front of my mind is to get rid of that sucker and this is a new this is a this is a 10th gen i5 so you would think that i thought you know that fast startup was having issues with the older computers where where that fast startup kind of started uh, i don't know when they introduced that but maybe back then you got new computers that weren't up to date and you know with windows 10 and they originally came with a windows 7 and who knows you know, but here we're talking 10th gen on Windows 11. You know, they should have resolved all those issues, I don't know, years ago. So bottom line, problem finally resolved, again, thanks to Apple Pie Tech. So that's what's going on right here, right now at PC911.